Grace and peace, my dear brethren and beloved colleagues. I am Apostle Denise Williams of North Carolina, and I am honored to be a alumni of the 2014 Global Advanced Mentoring Master Class uh, through International Ministers Fellowship. Amen. I am a mentor and one of our principal officers. I'm honored today to be able to share with you just a portion of my journey experience through Masterclass in hopes that it will help to encourage you and to and to just uh, strengthen you along the way, give you a little tidbit here or there of some of the things that are common to us all as we pursue this excellent path, amen, called the Masterclass. Um, I give all praise and honor and glory to Elohim, hallelujah for his goodness and his mercies toward us, to Yeshua HaMashiach, hallelujah, for his grace, amen, that he pours out lavishly in, on, and through each and every one of us. I want to thank our vision holders, uh, Apostle George and Pastor Grace Akaluno, as well as our uh, Director of Studies, Apostle Dr. Catherine Jones, our Registrar, uh, Minister Teacher Stephanie Foster, and the conglomerate of leaders and uh, executives and, and, and the brethren who make up, hallelujah, uh, the master class, the Global School of Ministry and the master class. What an awesome, awesome vehicle it is that the Father had prepared for us in order that we would be better, better able to fulfill our assignments given by him. Amen. We are the family of Elohim. Hallelujah. The body of Yeshua. Everyone who will align with this vision, uh, the master class will be inspired and encouraged, uh, edified through the great uh, wealth of truth that will be made available to you. Truth and revelation that will be made available to you. Hallelujah. And, and may whatsoever Elohim has invested in you, may it come to fruition. May you see the manifestation, hallelujah, of his grace and his mercy in your life and over your life. Hallelujah. May you fulfill your assignment, your destiny, your divine destiny. From the principal blueprint found in scripture in the book of Ephesians, uh, penned by our, our brother, Apostle Paul, um, Beginning at verse 10, chapter 4, verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yeshua till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Elohim unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of fullness in Yeshua. Amen. Verse 14, that we henceforth, this is why, be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and, and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love, we may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Yeshua, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, ah, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Just a little bit about my journey. Masterclass has challenged me on so many levels, and I'm sure that it will challenge you as well. You can't just skim through these uh, these lessons, these teachings, and just proof uh, proof read them and speed read them and expect to really get the maximum benefit of what Elohim wants to do in and through you. Amen. You've got to study to show yourself approved, line upon line and precept upon precept, and and you got to get in and dig in and let it marinate in you and you and it, so that it becomes life. Hallelujah! It becomes life to you. Hallelujah! You digest it and then you consume it, you pray over it and you ask Holy Spirit for divine assistance that you apply it appropriately. Hallelujah. We don't ever want to be charged with mishandling his word. We've, we've had enough of that in the kingdom. You will ultimately find that the temptation to resist or reject information and concepts that conflict with what you already knew, what you've already learned, what you've already ascribed to and agreed to, you will find a temptation 
mm -hmm, to resist the teachings will begin to diminish as truth, pure truth permeates your entire being. You'll know it. You'll know it because spirit, hallelujah, begat spirit and the spirit connect with spirit. You're going to know that this is him speaking. Amen. You'll find many unanswered questions will begin to unfold in your spirit and you will understand cl with clarity better than you ever have. Yes. Be prepared to have every challenge that will present itself to you to hinder you or to stop you from breasting this tape in victory, to be annihilated and removed from your path. You shall overcome and conquer in every situation. After I finally completed the course in 2014, after my false start in 2013, the opportunity to serve as a mentor was presented and I was so blessed by my own experience, I was eager to help others to achieve the same thing. I realized that I'd been spiritually asleep and although I didn't know it, I was walking and living in ignorance and in error. I wanted to give back to this vision that has been such a blessing to me as I knew that there are so many others here that need to be awakened as well. Shortly after beginning my first class as a mentor, I realized that I was still learning. I was still benefiting. I was still being blessed. Hallelujah. And the following year, the same thing. And the next one, the same. It just keeps getting better and better because he wants to take us from glory to glory. Amen. From level to level. He wants to use us. The material is always fresh and relevant. And it just blessed me that I would often gain new perspective and wisdom and how to apply it just, just in my own life and in ministry. I'm so grateful. I look back today from where Elohim has brought me through this master class and all he's done in and through me and for me. And I can truly say I'm pressing on toward the mark of the prize of the high calling. Hallelujah. Overall, I believe that Elohim has set this vision in his body, in the kingdom, the master class for those of us in the kingdom as a vehicle for our growth and our maturation and for our perfecting. And that his anointed, his anointed vessels, whom he has set in place to mentor us and to lead us, Apostle George and Pastor Grace, that oversee the work, as well as for all who have come alongside them to make sure that this work gets done. I believe this is of him. I believe it's a gift from his heart. Amen. I'm very grateful to be a part of this end time kingdom work. And I am a better steward over the gifts of ministry that the Father has blessed me with. Amen. I believe you will have that same experience. El Elohim is with us. He's in us, working through us. And we humble ourselves before his mighty hand, hey, that he might continue to be glorified and that others may come in. I am so excited to once again to share and serve through the 2020 Masterclass. I want you to know that we are available to you as mentors and assisting you in any way that we can. That's Apostle George, Pastor Grace, all the, uh, the, the mentors, all the principal officers, the alumni. We are here with you to help you, to assist you, ask for help when you need it. Accept our gifts when we give them. Amen. Remember, brethren, you too have been divinely connected and aligned to this great kingdom work and vision, the masterclass. You've been counted in and not out. Hallelujah. You're going to be a better vessel that Elohim will be able to use in this end time emergence of the church, of his church and the return of Yeshua. Behold, he cometh. Hallelujah. He cometh. Watch and pray and occupy. Once again, welcome all of you to the 2020 masterclass. Grasp the vision, and with the help of Yeshua, I stand with you and the alumni in saying we are better together. Welcome to the Mastercast. God bless you.